New York may be known for its fast-paced life, but the city also offers plenty of activities and unique attractions for families. The iconic Central Park alone is teeming with playgrounds, miles of cycling and walking paths, picnic spaces, gardens and city zoos with wildlife from all over the world. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the 10 best family things to do in New York. And just wait until you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video. Something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel. Press the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. So if you're ready, let's cut to the chase. Number 10. Madame Tussauds Wax Museum Catch a ghost at the Ghostbusters experience. Madame Tussauds Wax Museum displays more than 200 lifelike models of world icons. This unique museum is divided into several themes, including music, movies, sports, royalty and Hollywood. One of its most immersive displays is the Ghostbusters experience, where you get to explore several rooms with ghostly projections to give you a fright. Well, that's entertaining the kids. Tickets cost around $34 per person, but you get to enjoy a discounted rate if you purchase them on Madame Tussauds Wax Museum's official website. At 9. American Museum of Natural History Go on a scavenger hunt in the fossil halls. The American Museum of Natural History features over 45 permanent exhibitions and millions of artifacts and fossils dating back to prehistoric times. It's known for housing the world's largest collection of dinosaur skeletons, including a cast of a 122-foot-long titanosaur. Another must-visit is the Hayden Planetarium, where you can check out impressive exhibits and video footage of galaxies, stars and planets. Young visitors can take part in fun workshops and games at the American Museum of Natural History, including a scavenger hunt through the fossil halls. Next up, at 8, Statue of Liberty. Hop on a ferry and climb up to Lady Liberty's crown. The Statue of Liberty is usually the first thing travellers spot when they're visiting New York. Dedicated in 1886, this national monument offers panoramic views of New York, New Jersey, New York Harbour and the nearby Ellis Island. The second floor of the pedestal houses an exhibition hall where you get to learn about the statue's history through full-scale replicas, photographs, texts and video footage. To get to Liberty Island, you need to buy a ferry ticket, which includes a self-guided audio tour. There's also an additional fee if you're planning to climb to the crown of the Statue of Liberty, so be sure to book in advance. Next up at 7. Battery Park Glide on giant iridescent fish rides on the sea glass carousel. Unlike traditional merry-go-rounds, the aquatic-themed sea glass carousel in Battery Park lets you enjoy a weightless experience while watching an underwater scene projected using color-changing LED lights. Tickets for the ride cost $5 per person. For safety purposes, children below the height of 42 inches must be accompanied by an adult during the ride. At 6. Children's Museum of the Arts, New York Learn how to make miniature sculptures. The Children's Museum of the Arts displays over 2,000 paintings, sculptures and decorative arts dating back to the 1930s, all of which are created by children. The museum is also known for hosting a variety of non-profit programs and workshops for families. Kids between 7 and 12 years old can try their hand at stop-motion animation, voiceovers and video production at the Media Lab. On weekdays, younger visitors are guided by the museum's artists in painting, clay sculpting, storytelling and drumming at drop-in sessions from 10.45am to 12pm. Next in at 5, New Amsterdam Theatre. Join the Disney's Behind the Magic Tour. The New Amsterdam Theatre has been operating since 1903, making it the oldest entertainment venue on Broadway. Its interior features marble wall sculptures depicting scenes of Shakespearean plays. Wagner ring cycle operas and characters from Hans Christian Andersen and Aesop's fables. The theatre showcases only Disney musical productions such as Aladdin, The Lion King, Mary Poppins and Frozen. If you're not here for a show, New Amsterdam Theatre offers group tours for a few dollars with a guide sharing interesting facts and ghost stories of this historical building. At 4. Brooklyn Botanic Garden 
experience the Hanami cherry blossom in the Japanese garden. The Brooklyn Botanic Garden spans over 200,000 square meters of garden space at the northeastern edge of Prospect Park. It features an impressive selection of flower conservatories, landscaped gardens, walking trails and ponds that make for beautiful snapshots during your visit. Tickets to the Botanical Park cost $15 for adults and $8 for children over the age of 12, but you can enjoy free admission on Fridays before 12 p.m. If you're in New York during wintertime, Brooklyn Botanic Garden is free to enter all day from Tuesday to Friday. At 3. Luna Park in Coney Island – An amusement park by the beach in Brooklyn Luna Park in Coney Island is a fun theme park known for its thrilling roller coasters and high-speed rides. It's one of the best things to do for families in New York. Although it opened in 2010, it inherited several rides from previous amusement parks. These include a classic wooden roller coaster called the Cyclone, which first opened in 1927 and has since earned a spot on the National Register of Historic Places. The current Luna Park has no connection to an earlier Luna Park, which also opened at Coney Island back in 1903 and was a popular visitor attraction until it was destroyed by fire in 1944. In at 2, New York Public Library. Check out original Winnie the Pooh toys in the Children's Center. The New York Public Library has more than 90 branches in New York, but many locals frequent the Stephen A. Schwartzman Building for its Beau Arts-style architecture, extensive collections of rare books, author talks and workshops for all ages. Among the library's most visited displays is the Winnie the Pooh display in the Children's Center, where you get to see the original stuffed toy animals that Christopher Robin, the son of author Alan Alexander Robin Milne, played with and is the basis of the Pooh stories. If you want to learn about the building's history, free tours are available from Monday to Saturday at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. And finally, at number one, Central Park. See diverse wildlife at the Central Park Zoo. Central Park, among the largest green spaces in New York, features over 20 playgrounds, man-made lakes and ponds, as well as extensive walking tracks. It often hosts a variety of activities, exhibitions and concerts, especially during the spring and summer. Central Park is known for its family-friendly activities like the Carousel, Central Park Zoo, the Central Park Conservatory Garden and Belvedere Castle. It's open to the public all year round and guided tours are available for a few dollars. And there you have the 10 best family things to do in New York. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your family friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. So see you next time.